So we hear the interaction booth, right? With the Muse. Uh, which are you wearing right now? You're wearing glasses, but those are not just normal glasses, right? Correct. Those are actually uh, Smith. They're called the Smith Lowdown Focus. And they're the first brainwave sensing glasses. So what these guys are is they have brainwave sensors, EEG sensors built in. So all of the, there has five sensors, all the rubber pieces are sensors. And what they- so right here? Yep. There, there, there. Yep, one, and two, here. three, four, five. So one in each arm and three in the nose. What is the sensing? It's sensing your brain wave. So it's an EEG. So it means yeah. it, it measures the activity of your brain in real time. And what it does then is it connects to an app and the app translates the activity of your brain into sounds. And through that, you're able to basically listen to your brain. And so here it's, it shows like a graph kind of, it's yep. showing if you're focused and neutral. Exactly. Uh, what, is, what else can you do? Like, there, so wear it, you can wear it while you, you run around? You can wear it. So the, the beauty of this is that it's basically, normally it's a sunglass. I put some clear lenses in here. But normally you can wear it as a normal sunglass or with clear lenses, a piece of eyewear. And it looks totally normal. No, nobody knows that you're wearing a piece of technology. Can you control right? the computer? Is that what they're doing right here? Controlling yeah. this one with the... Actually, let me show you, let me show you on here. Let me show you on the app. You synced already? Yeah, I'll just show you a graph. Yeah. I'll show you a graph of a session. So we've done lots and lots of demos. And what people do after they do a session, it gives us a graph of their brain's activity. So the lines here is, you know, somebody's brain activity. And the app puts it into three different zones, active, neutral, and, and focused. The app is trying to teach you how to be more uh, focused through the sounds, through the feedback. So basically, when your brain is active, the sounds that you hear are very are very calm. So when you're focused, the sounds are calm. When your brain becomes more active, the sounds change. So you're listening to your brain in real time, and the, the wind and the waves be become more intense. So it's a clue for you that you know, wait a minute, my brain is becoming active. I need to focus on my breath again and bring it into focus. So what is it doing uh, when you're wearing it while you're bicycling? What is this, it going on here? This is basically, this is not out yet. So there are additional sens sensors that are already built into these glasses. Yeah. Um, and that are doing yeah, uh, you can see it posture, right? cadence. Posture, cadence, and kinematics. And here we're doing the same on the for, for yoga. So this is an application. For yoga, in just a second, you'll see it here on the right-hand side. You'll see it measures posture, so exactly how you're doing the posture. It measures balance, so you can see if you're actually in balance. And so it has an accelerometer? Yep, exactly. And here you can see the brain waves. It has an accelerometer, has a, a gyrometer. It measures pressure, so it can measure altitude, and all of these things are already built in but they're not yet activated, which is why we're kind of showing what's possible so I did with the, the I did the first video with the Muse uh, interaction with Ariel five years ago. You did, okay. She was showing something like this, right? Yeah, exactly. But there, has there been several generations in all these years? or? See, so the, 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 algor the algorithm has become a lot better. The product is essentially still the same. And really the news that we're showing here is that we've taken this entire device and we've put everything that this thing can do and more uh, in, into glasses. So, so it has as, as accurate as a, It's actually sensor, more accurate. More accurate. More accurate because of the placement. Um, it's right on the nose. Exactly. So it's in exactly the right places. And what's good about eyewear is there's only one way to, to put them on. You and can't the put these. does emit brain waves? Absolutely. And you can't get it wrong, right? The, the headband, you, you don't know if it's exactly in the right position. With glasses, very difficult to put them on the wrong way. So it's very easy for people to wear and get the proper signal quality. So um, the next step would be, how can we get so so much more tracking on it that we can uh, read people's thoughts? <laughs> when is that going to happen? We have no interest. This interaction in is not working in that? No, no, we have no interest in reading your mind. But I want to read my mind. Yeah. That's, I, I want to understand what I'm thinking sometimes. Yeah, we can't do that with this device. So what we can basically tell you is what your what your brain is doing. Is it active? Is it not active? There are things stress you, levels, right? Stress. You can measure uh, things like uh, pain, intensity of pain. Yeah. So you can actually measure that. 
you can measure when you're becoming drowsy. Uh, well, for instance, when you're driving, it could be a drowsiness detection device. You can measure uh, when you're going to fall asleep, minutes before you, you actually fall asleep. So there's lots of uh, applications for this also in the medical field uh, that, uh, that we're working on, but none of these are ready and none of them are about reading your mind, I'm, I'm afraid so to tell two, you. So there's two ways I'd like to use it. Is, uh, I like to have it on while I'm live streaming my video so people can see my graph in real time yep, and they can, can say that. that, ah, he's probably doing a poor interview right now because he's stressed. So, or something like that. They can see a reason why the interview is going well or bad and maybe I'd like to wear it while I'm watching Netflix and then I can check my phone and be sure that I'm in the right mood to watch the next episode of this Stranger Things because I don't want to be like overly scared or I, I don't want to miss anything. I want to be I want to be focused. Right, right. Does that make sense? It does make sense. With Netflix in particular actually what we have done because it has the motion sensors built in so um, there's actually a way that not what you were just asking for. Wakes you up if you fall asleep. But no, listen to this. So yeah. if you wanted to go to the next uh, episode of Stranger Things, instead of using your, your your remote, all you would have to do is go like this, all and right. it swipes to the next to the next episode. Yeah. If it can detect you falling asleep, it should wake you up. It could. If the if the show is boring, you know. That you could probably do. You I'm can not use sure. that at the opera. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, the opera is not is not boring. No, no. that's no. not where we're going. No. Okay, cool. All right. So actually, in the last five years, you've been selling a lot of these devices. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these have been sold, and uh, they where, have been. Where did you sell them? In the U.S., Europe? Primarily in in North America, U.S. and Canada, um, and some rest of the world. Uh, so they've been on the market since 2014 officially. And you have a big team, right? You're yeah. Well, we're we have a team of. There's really there are really two companies here. So we have the the Interaxon Muse people here, yeah. uh, which really are the makers of this, and then we have the Smith team here. So Smith uh, is the company that makes the hardware here. Um, and uh, we're, we're partnering. So the reason that there are so many people here is because it's two companies. And you can see there's a lot of interest. So we have been pretty swamped all day. And it says up there, it says, uh, Smith, low down focus, brain sensing eyewear. Exactly. So that's the, you're aiming for best of show, right? Something like that. That would be, fa that would be fantastic. All right. Good so afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Muse. We are wrapping up our uh, demonstrations for the day, so if you haven't had a chance to demonstrate uh, with our product today, this brain sensing technology from Muse and also incorporating the technology with Smith, uh, we are going to be here all day again tomorrow. We are going to be uh, doing demonstrations of how this brain sensing technology can help you get to a more calm mental state, uh, a more focused state. So, uh,